Comic collectors, take note. If your comic comes with a black wrapper around part of it as a means to belie the shocking reveal on the cover underneath it, prepare to be utterly and completely underwhelmed. These are the NASCAR diecast collectibles of the comic world and will never increase in value. Ever. Leave them on the shelf. Somewhere in Schenectady, New York, a collector still has his shrink-wrapped copy of the death of Superman in pristine condition, waiting for the day to pay off his student loan debt. Sad, isn't it? Case in point, poison number one from the good people at London Night Publishing. Bad enough we're spelling poison with a Z, but a quick peep under the cover no doubt reveals something utterly inane that probably doesn't even... Gah! Gus! God damn it! Gus! What's up? We have discussed the use of pornography on this show. This woman is butt naked. Well, yeah, but she's not nude in the rest of the book. She isn't? You know, you'd know that if you actually read these things we send you. I'm not reading anything that replaces an S with a Z. We went over this with Wildsiders earlier this season. Continuity, kids. Look it up. Look, I think it's a solid book with a lot of action and mystical intrigue. It's a cheap gimmick to get horny teens to spend money on poorly drawn titillation. It even has entertainment for men under it, like it's an issue of Playboy. Tell me this didn't last more than three issues. Well, five if you count the zero issue and the one half issue. That was a big deal in the 90s. Oh, we deserve everything that happens to us as a society. Hey, are you done with that issue? Why, are we out of Charmin in the men's room? Well, no, I mean, that that's my personal copy. You actually read this. Are you kidding? It's one of my favorite books. Gus, that explains so much about you. Thanks, man. Okay, folks, poison number one got made. And apparently some people bought it. God only knows why. I'm Carlton Tetley. Good day and good reading.